Hi there, thanks for joining me. So uh, today we're going to open some packages uh, that I got from some, uh, some good viewers and friends of mine. Um, I mentioned recently that I um, am looking for some Japanese Dreamcast games. I'm considering starting on that collection again, uh, maybe against my better judgment. And uh, that also I'm interested in having a handheld that I can play um, like translated ROMs basically of Game Gear games. Uh, I myself uh, am a fan translator so I've actually translated a, a number of uh, Game Gear games and uh, I'd like a way just to kind of conveniently like play those just to play test them or just you know enjoy the fact that you know they're in English. I mean, even though I translated the scripts, maybe I'll want to <laughs> play one of those sometime. Um, but especially other people have um, translated Game Gear games, and I haven't played those yet. So I'd really like to play those on a handheld. And, um, yeah, um, so I've got two packages here. I will not show, you know, the addresses or anything like that. But uh, one is from Oticon, the other one is from uh, Kino... Uh, is what is it, 8.15, I believe, something like that. So, um, so yeah, thanks so much, guys. Um, let's go ahead and open these up here and, and take, a, take a look. So here we are. This is from Kino. Thank you so much. I like, I, I don't know what to say, right, you know? Like, um, this was super, super generous of you. I really appreciate it. Um, so this is a, like a Chinese, um, little emulation handheld, right? Um, just a little custom thing, uh, the Ambernick uh, RG351P. Uh, P for plastic, they do do some um, aluminum ones, I guess, they have like kind of a metal case. Um, but this is exactly, like literally exactly what I was planning to get. Um, it's, a, it's a new model, I think, where uh, I believe it uses an Android um, OS instead of you know, whatever it was that, that they that they use normally, which I'm sure is fine, you know, it's like a little, it's a little custom um, OS for, for running emulators, but, uh, but yeah, here it is, so this, this is, uh, this is really cool, um, I'm assuming, like, there's probably some, like, a cable or something in there, um, but here is the device, this looks like it's in great shape, um, and it's, you know, it's, it's kind of just, right it's smaller obviously than in game gear the game gear is is big um you have dual analog which you're not really going to need for game gear you have four buttons which you're not really going to need for game gear but i mean this is a general purpose little like emulation device um this is great it's probably around the size of like a psp you know something along those lines uh it has a nice um screen you know little, like what kind of widescreen screen on it and as far as I've read I believe that this is going to be a pixel perfect um, you know whatever like integer scale or something like that for Game Gear games so that's that's what I'm really uh, the most excited about I think so I might you know record some more video in a little bit after I have this set up and I have some games put on it but um but again thank you so much for this like like this was super generous of you um you know I I sort of reached out I'm like why are you getting rid of this right and they were like well you know it's it's I just realized like I, I got this to play handheld and I'm just not as interested in playing this stuff handheld and you know I'm kind of the opposite where I have a, a Raspberry Pi right if I really want to play this stuff um, you know I can play anything I want on that Raspberry Pi set up with uh, with RetroPi um, but I and I thought I would love playing Game Gear games on the big screen which like it's okay sometimes but I, I want to play them like this right so again thank you um, and next up, this is, uh, this is the package from Oricon. Um, so, you know, again, I don't think there's any surprises here. He reached out to me <coughs> and was like, hey, you know, I have a couple of those games that are on your list. And, um, you know, can I send them your way? And I was like, sure, right? You know, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so, oh, whoa, maybe there is a surprise. Oh. Maybe there are a lot of surprises, too. Seriously, you need to do this. I mean, I heard he, he said he was... He's clearing space, and I get that, too. Like, I might actually, even myself, need to pare down a few things here. But, man, 
you guys you guys are so generous thank you so much um this is great this is uh bokuto boku uh yeah bokuto boku da no uh natsu um so this is uh just you know a visual novel yeah, visual novel an adventure game it is probably a romantic adventure game i i actually feel a little bit bad because i don't know too much about this right um you, know, you have these two characters on the front they both look like um girls so i don't know if this is like a yuri thing or if it's just kind of a, a just like a what i would call maybe a more traditional uh romantic adventure game um but i like i love this stuff and like who, no one cares about this right except for like me and Oricon, basically um but uh yeah you've got the game here it's it's sealed so it's actually still still in the package um, and I think that's pretty much it. This uh, is a special edition, and it came, I think it came with an art book. He was saying that it's it's missing. So, you know, again, like, the only reason I would care about that is if I wanted to, like, resell this at some point or something. And, like, no one no one cares about, about these games. Like, no one's going to be like, it's not collectible, right? Um, so anyway, uh... Thank you so much, man. This is super cool. I'm really happy to have that in my collection. And this other stuff. So, I mean, uh, one thing I didn't know about. So, um, the other thing on my list was uh, Shenmue 2. I actually have Shenmue 1, of course, but I mean, in a Japanese version of it. Um, but I haven't had Shenmue 2. And of course, you know, I have Shenmue 2 now on PlayStation 4 and stuff like that, which I still need to catch up on because I haven't finished that game. I've played it before. I played it on Xbox. Uh, oh, wow. This is the, um, this is the limited edition also. So, thank you, man. This is uh, the limited edition of Shenmue 1. Um, this has a really nice soundtrack, the, uh, the Shenmue Jukebox. Uh, I'm very familiar with this. It's, um... I, I actually love like this, this, the songs from this. They're, they're, you know, it's it's Shenmue. It's like the the little songs that you get in the stores and stuff like that. Well, it's actually I think it's the songs you can you can buy in the game, right? You can get little cassettes, cassette singles inside the game, in wherever you are, Yokosuka, in like you know 1980 something. Um, it's it's super fun. And um, and Shenmue 2, This is also the limited edition. Thank you so much. This is really cool. Uh, I don't know if this also has a soundtrack. Oh no, it has a Virtua Fighter 4 Passport. This actually came loose, but it's not. They shouldn't have heard it. Um, I, think it's, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, so yeah, so that's like, you know, Passport, I don't know if that's something that's like online, or if it's just like a, um, a demo, or maybe like a demo of like the online or something like that. And then there's, oh, another, it's another, more Virtua Fight. I didn't know. Virtual Fighter 4 Passport. Huh. I didn't realize there was so much Virtual Fighter stuff that came with, uh, with Shenmue 2. That's really cool. Um, so, I mean, technically, Shenmue is kind of, um, in the... It's, like, related to Virtua Fighter, right? Um, there are little, like, Virtua Fighter... Uh, to, like toys and things like that. I think that you can get in the like the little capsule toys and stuff like that. And um, I think it was originally intended to be a virtual fighter uh, RPG, and then they they sort of made it more into its own thing. So it, it has that kind of pedigree to it. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, thank you again. Really, um, really appreciate that. That's definitely something that it was not in my collection. And um, uh, there's some there's some PSP games and a Vita game. Goodness! Oh, oh, oh. okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm actually I'm uh, I'm excited by the video game. It's uh, it's Tokyo Xanadu. Um, I do not have this. This did get a a, a localization. This is the Japanese version. Um, but I've been meaning to play this. I mean, I don't know how. Like, it's a Falcom game, and I'm not. I'm just not well versed on Falcom, right? I'm not necessarily a Falcom fan. I, I don't like dislike Falcom, but I just haven't played like a ton of Falcom stuff, like Ease and um, even gosh, are they the ones that do like? Uh, anyway, I don't really remember, but um, you know, this this just was on my radar, right? You know, it was sort of a newer thing, you know, a handful of years ago, and I was like, oh wow, I want to check that out. Um, yeah, it's an action RPG. It looks really cool. So thank you so much. Uh, that's great. I will check that out. And, um, oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so, and this is, um, Katamari 
Uh, and um, this is Neverland Card War. Cardinal, Cardinal Arc. So that's super cool. Now I do have this, uh, like a localized version of Neverland Card Battles. So I'm curious to know if this is like, uh, like a sequel to that or something like that, or if this is the same, the same game. I'm not really sure. Um, but that's still super cool. It's I know this is like uh, Idea Factory. So I think this is basically a card battle game that kind of it probably includes characters from various Idea Factory stuff, games, things like that. Um, I could be wrong about that. I've been meaning to sit down and like play. That's another thing I want to play aside from some of these Game Gear games that you know, especially have been fan translated. Um, is just some of my PSP collection and, uh, and check some, some more of this stuff out. So that's super cool. And Kat Katamari, that's really cool. Um, you know, I, there are, there are actually like, I, I'm kind of a big gamer. I mean, obviously I have like tons of games, but like I've played a lot of games too, but I've missed out on lots of big games, right? You know, whether it be like big Nintendo stuff or, or just, just randomly, you know, like I've, played some obscure things and missed some some relatively big things. I know uh, Katamari Damacy um, was like popular, right? Like it sort of kind of made a splash when it was released here. And I, I have played it, right? But just a little bit like at my buddy's place. So uh, I've never really had my own like one of these games, right? I'm trying to remember what it came out on originally PS2, I think. And there have been like there was one on the PS3 and stuff like that. There's this PSP one. So uh, so that's super cool. Um, this is actually, what is this? Boku no Watashi no... Um, and I should know what that kanji is. It's probably like Katamari or something. Um, but yeah, this looks super cool. So, um, you know, it's Katamari, right? <laughs> You're rolling a big ball around and like sn snatching stuff up. But uh, that's great. Thank you so much, man. Um, you didn't. You didn't have to send me all this extra stuff. You didn't even have to send me this this stuff originally. Neither of you guys did. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Why don't I try setting that that system up, and um, and we'll we'll see we'll see what we can do with it. All right. Uh, I'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. So uh, the cat has decided to join me on the couch here. She is looking very comfortable. So we've lost some of our natural light here, um, but hopefully things will look pretty good. Um, so I have set up a few games on here. I realized that it's going to take me some time, you know, real time, to uh, to get all of the games that I want on here set up. Um, but I'm not, you know, as interested in, like, playing Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, etc, etc on here. Um, this is a Game Gear machine for, uh, for me. Um, courtesy of, of Kino, and um, so you can see here I've got, what, six games? Uh, these are all English language translated versions of Game Gear games, and several of them I worked on. Um, Bishoto Senshi Sailor Moon S was translated by me. Coca-Cola Kid, same thing. Crayon Shinchan, same thing. Uh, Eternal Legend was not. Uh, that was translated by the Majin Zenki, and uh, uh, worked on by Supper. Supper worked on uh, Sailor Moon with me. Uh, I believe Johnny worked on Coca-Cola Kid with me. I believe, oh gosh, is it Cyclax that worked on Shinshan with me? I believe. And then, um, Zenki and Madamonogatari A were, um, were supper, uh, working with the Majin Zenki and myself, respectively. So, um, so yeah, anyway, you know, these are the kind of things, like, I want to, if I haven't played through some of these games, um, you know, I'd like, I'd like to play through them, especially ones that I hadn't translated myself. Um, so let's take a look here. What I ended up doing is actually watching a whole tutorial video on how to set this up. Thankfully, the person was specifically talking about how they liked to set it up for the Game Gear, so... Uh, that was that was very uh, you know beneficial for me. Uh, I'm actually just gonna bring this up a little closer here, and uh, here here we have this. So we can crank the, the volume up a little more here. You can probably hear the music, and uh, this is the start. Now, um, so what I have gotten a really sharp video on here, a um, you know, really sharp image, I should say. So it's uh, 
you know, you really had to go into the settings here, and, and thank you, Kino2, like, left me a really nice note, like, really nice handwriting, like, way better than mine, um, on some tips about this. So if you hold uh, Select and X, you can go into a menu. Uh, while we're in the game here, it's, it's like, kind of related to the game. Uh, this is running RetroArch, um, and... Yeah, so basically it's a little complicated, some of the stuff that this had uh, me doing. So uh, we're, we're doing a lot of stuff in the quick menu, right? But like, uh, I actually went down and did some shaders. So this has a little bit of a, an LCD effect on it. Now they didn't have a Game Gear specific effect. And the Game Gear actually has kind of a specific type of screen because what it is is it's turned sideways so it's it's basically like an old style LCD screen and it would have effectively horizontal uh, lines on it but um, it ends up having oh actually you know I'm not sure if I saved the filter okay well we'll put it back on um, so let's go into here and uh, Anyway, so what I was saying is it would effectively have had horizontal lines, but because the screen is turned, there are vertical lines. So the Game Gear has this kind of interesting vertical line uh, thing. So what we're going to do, we can't... There's nothing in here for vertical lines like that, which is too bad. Um, but I think if we go to on-screen overlay? No. Shaders. Alright, so if we go to shaders, and we want to go to load shader presets... So I guess this is stuff that has been had been downloaded previously. Um, so we're just going to look in here, I think. Oh, no, we're going to go to handheld. There we go. And we're going to look in here. And there's this one I kind of liked. The person was recommending bezel. Be bevel, sorry. Uh, bevel and this other one, this LCD3X or something. So I kind of like this bevel. Um, so that shader is now on. So we're going to go back, there we go. Okay, so that's actually, this is actually it with the shader. And I would like to, um, I would like to save it with this. I guess I just didn't do that before. But, you know, that's another thing. It's sort of like how you save it. So, I mean, we'll try saving it. Um, load shader preset directly in the menu shader is updated accordingly. Okay. So, um, oh, save the current shader preset. Maybe we actually save it this way. Oh no, I guess that would be if you maybe if you made your own. Alright. Anyway, I think what you're gonna do is go to overrides and then you're gonna save content directory overrides. So what they were saying is this content directory overrides is basically gonna be at the directory level, right? So all the games in the game gear directory are gonna use the settings that you've that you've put on, right? Which should include this uh, this shader. But anyway, um, you know, this is it. Uh, it has a little bit of a border on it, you can see, but I'm, we're talking, this is like the the OG Game Gear, um, it should be like aspect ratio and like one-to-one -one pixels, and it looks really sharp, it looks really nice. Um, before you change it to that one-to-one, one -one, it, um, you know, it, it was soft, it looked fuzzy, so this looks way, uh, way better, it's really, really nice, and I really like it. I don't know that it's really showing up on the camera the way you know, I'd like it to, um, but you, you get an idea of it. And uh, I just thank you again so much. This is super cool. Lastly, I want to talk about, I guess, kind of a couple pickups oops, that I, uh, I didn't talk about in my last video, right? So let's uh, just wide angle this a little bit. Uh, it's a little messy here, but we have uh, some manga that I got. So this was another thing in this kind of empty bowl of yogurt over there. Um, my kind of, you know, let's, let's just like, what do I really care about? And what do I want to kind of like button up and finish up and have complete here? So one of those things is the Akira manga. Um, I really loved Akira. Uh, the the movie is really great. Uh, the manga I was getting as they were coming out with these these nice big volumes. I don't know what you would call these, but these these big graphic novel sort of collections of them. And you know I got the first one, I got the second one, I got the third one. I was reading them as they were coming out, and the third one pretty much finishes up the storyline that 
Katsuhiro Otomo uh, put into the movie, right, into the film. But the manga keeps going, and that's that's really the you know the function of of anime a lot of times anyway actually is just to get people into the, the comics and then you know so that they keep reading the comics so um i didn't really keep reading the comics right i kind of got to that point and i was like oh i should keep going with this and then i just you know went on with my life so um i looked at these and i'm like okay i'm gonna get these and i'm gonna read them uh, i have not read them yet but uh, but here they are I completely forgot to show them in my last video, so I wanted to mention that. And another thing, um, I did actually get in that power uh, board replacement for my Game Gear. So I was saying I do have some physical Game Gear games, and um, you know, as opposed to playing them all on this handheld here, um, you know, I do like playing some of those games that I have in my physical collection on the original hardware and instead of um, you know completely tricking out that game gear I was like you know I'm just gonna replace this power board because right now the power adapter is kinda loose and you know I might be able to fix it or tighten it up or whatever but I'm like let me let me just replace it everyone says this mod is super great and I opened up my game gear and I dropped it in and I went to plug it in and the plug does not fit um, I have one of the, I don't know, what is it, Majesco, or, it's it's one of the different Game Gears, I, sh I should have grabbed it, but anyway, um, and I, it, you know, I, I double checked on Retro 6's site, they said, hey, it works with all Game Gear models, but it does not work with this one. So I'm thinking it might be a, an issue of simply desoldering the connector, the power connector, um, from the board, and then soldering on the one from the old board onto the new board and then being able to plug it in. That might be it. But I'm going to check with Retro 6. I'm going to see what they recommend. Worst case scenario, maybe I just send it back for a refund. I don't know. Um, but unfortunately, that was not the drop the, the, the drop in solution that they had been promised, uh, that I had been promised for my particular model of Game Gear. So that's too bad. Um, but yeah, you know, I guess that's that's about it. Um, thanks again, you know, so much, guys. And I hope you guys will, will join me again for more uh, video game uh, and anime-related videos. All right, take care, guys. Catch you later.